Just have a look and see the amount of beauty that's all around you. In order to be creative, you can focus in on a small little area and work on it like photographers do or some artists do. I can pan out and look at a big landscape. Whatever kind of excites you, that's what it's all about. You must be enthusiastic about life. Sometimes I, I feel very privileged to be able to see these things and enjoy them, you know. And it brings a, a deep serenity within you. And it's important to look for that. Because we live in an age of, let's face it, a lot of anxiety, fear. And fear is almost like, you know, it's like a darkness that invades people's mind and heart. And the trouble is, it disempowers you. But there's also another beautiful side to life. And you can discover that through the creative act. We're, we're all on this journey together. So value life, value each other, and look for the great creativity that is probably lying dormant inside you, waiting to be awakened. John Keats once said, truth is beauty, beauty is truth. This is all you need to know. And you know, things like that finally sink into your head. And it's so important uh, to point out beauty and truth. It's, it's quite extraordinary. When you meet special people in life, you feel enriched and you're better having that particular experience. Uh, try and open yourself to good things like that. It can be through books, it can be through good films, through poetry, whatever. You know what they say, where the attention flows, energy goes. So whatever you put your attention into, that's where your energy is flowing. Look at something that will elevate you, will inspire people, and enrich people. That's what real wealth is, to be enriched by life, by true friendship, by true companionship, and if you're lucky enough, by true love.